Now, a counter offer is flattering. It's a sign that you are valued. At the same time, however, remember that your response needs to be carefully decided business decision, not just an initial emotional reaction. Because 85% of employees who accept a counter offer end up leaving the company voluntarily or involuntarily within a year. Let that sink in for a moment. In all likelihood, the counter offer is not designed to keep you, but rather to spare the company the cost of replacing you. So here are the top three reasons to refuse a counter offer. The first, knowing your value. Considering the fact that you had to accept another offer to get more favorable terms with your employer, your value might not have been recognized opt for the business that truly knows your worth. Number two, history is likely to repeat itself. The same thing that made you want to walk away initially will probably resurface after a few months. Do you want to pass up a lucrative job opportunity at another company to end up regretting your decision to stay? Sure, they may be on their best behavior right now, but old habits die hard. As time passes, they might start taking advantage of you again and that pile of additional work was expanding your job description the promotion the raise you accepted didn't happen number three it's a worst case scenario they could turn the tables and let you go in the near future once you put your employer on notice they might begin to secretly look for replacements which happens far more often than people realize 